Hello again, guys. Uh, we are continuing uh, to look at these different words from the Bible and trying to explain them. Uh, I know that we're not taking a lot of time uh, with each of these words. Uh, we definitely could go uh, a lot more uh, in detail uh, with all of these things, but I hope that uh, these studies are helping you, uh, and I hope that uh, you are then taking it further and meditating upon these things and, uh, and, and dwelling upon them. And so today we're going to be looking at the word sanctification. Sanctification. Uh, this is a very complex word, uh, but it is a beautiful one. Uh, I am going to try to explain it as simply as I possibly can. And uh, I, I'm a simple guy, and I think that uh, simple is always better than overcomplicating things. And so hopefully we can simplify this word, sanctification, today. So what does sanctification mean? Uh, the word sanctify uh, or sanctification, uh, it comes from the same word as the English word holy. Uh, holy. And so very simply put, to sanctify means to make holy or to set apart. And so what, what does that mean? Well, when you think about if I have... Uh, let's say I have 10 objects, no matter what they are. Let's say that I have 10, uh, you know, 10 sodas, okay, uh, 10 Cokes. And, uh, and so I, I have all of these 10 Cokes, and they're all together. They're all lumped together. And I were to take one, and I were to set it apart from the rest. I, uh, literally what that is, is I am, I am separating it uh, and setting it apart uh, for a purpose or for a, a, a use. I, I guess a better way to illustrate that would be you have 10 Cokes in the refrigerator and uh, you want the, 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 you're only going to drink one of them, so you take one out uh, and, uh, and the other nine, you leave them in there so that they stay cold. And so uh, that one that you have taken out, you have set that apart and you've set it apart for a reason, for a purpose, because you're going to drink it. And so uh, when you think about that word sanctification, you are, you are setting something apart and you are making it holy, okay? So when talking about sanctification, it's not something that man can do to himself. I want you to think about that. Sanctification is not something that man can do unto himself, but rather it is the working of God within a man or a woman. Uh, and so it is God that is doing the sanctifying. Now that's very important because we're going to talk about another word tomorrow uh, and it's a little bit different. And, and so understand that when you're talking about sanctification, that it is God that is setting apart. So what does that mean for you and me? Well, first of all, when you accept Christ as your Savior, you are sanctified. You are set apart. Um, and so the moment that you ask Christ into your heart, you are sanctified. You have been sanctified by God. Uh, I want you to, to picture, uh, you know, you're, you're a person that's, that's, you know, in the world and with the rest of the world. When you accept Christ as your Savior, the Spirit of the living God comes inside of your heart. And you are now set apart from the rest of the world. And so the moment you're saved, you're sanctified. But secondly... Uh, we are sanctified continually uh, throughout our life after accepting Christ. Some people have called this progressive sanctification, that uh, as, as our lives go on, that God is forming us, He is fashioning us, He is molding us, He is making us uh, to look more like Jesus as time goes on. And so uh, there is a continual sanctification process. And Finally, we will see the fullness of our sanctification when we see Jesus face to face. Um, we, we think of, of that more as another big word, uh, the word glorification, when we are glorified. Um, the Bible says that when, when, we shall, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And so uh, understand that we have been sanctified, we are being sanctified, and one day uh, we, we will, uh, our, our sanctification will be complete, if you would. Uh, so what should we do now? Well, listen, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, uh, you need to accept Him. 
uh, it is only then that you can be set apart. You say set apart from what preacher? Well, listen, set apart from the rest of the world and set apart from the lost, uh, from those that are on their way to hell. Uh, you don't want to be a part of that group. Uh, the Bible declares in the book of Revelation, chapter number uh, 20, at the end of chapter number 20, it says, uh, whosoever his name is not written in the book of life shall be cast into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone forever and ever. Um, listen, you don't want to be a part of that. Uh, you do not want to go to that lake of fire. Uh, and so you need to accept Christ. Uh, because then you can be set apart. You can be taken out of that group and placed into the family of God. Uh, secondly, listen, if you know Christ as your Savior, you know you're going to heaven. Uh, don't fight the Lord and what he is trying to change and transform in your life. Uh, we should be praying daily, Lord, mold me, make me, shape me. Um, I'm reminded of the chorus of this song. Uh, that uh, one of the brothers from the church uh, used to sing. I haven't heard him sing it in quite a while, but it goes like this. It goes, Make me in your image Wash me white as snow Purify this heart of mine Lord, I'm giving you control Let me be a vessel One that's worthy to be used Make me in your image. Make me more like you. A wonderful God, I just ask, Father, that you would mold us, that you would shape us, that you would make us uh, more like you. And Father, help us not to fight you, but help us to surrender and to allow you to mold us and to shape us into who you would have us to be. And God, I just pray that you'll be with all those that are listening, all those that are watching. And God, if there's one person that does not know Jesus as their Savior, I pray that your Spirit would move on their heart and open their eyes to their need. And Father, help them to realize that you've provided the answer through Jesus Christ. It's in his name we ask all these things. Amen.